What's going on everyone? I'm just your typical standard average everyday Canadian nerd here to react to a uh, everyday average American man who is here to react to why Jamaica is not part of Canada. Now, this is new to me. I'm not sure why uh, we would consider Jamaica to be part of Canada. Why would it have become part of Canada? I don't know, but I'm interested to find out. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Just make this picture disappear and press play. What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical American here today to react and learn about why didn't Jamaica join Canada? What? Is this a thing? Uh, is, this, is this something I, I, I've never heard of this. I didn't know it was an option. I didn't know it was on the table that Jamaica could have been part of Canada. Do people know about this? And is it just me? I, I'm kind of embarrassed to say, but I need to look up exactly where Jamaica is. Um, uh, not part of Canada. And maybe in relation to Canada? To give me a little perspective? Not close. Jamaica? What? Hey, what? Much closer to Florida. Why? Why? Uh, yeah, this kind of puts it all in perspective for me. I don't think I'm too out of line here in saying... I don't understand why Jamaica would have been part of Canada. It's nothing that I personally have ever considered, but I will tell you that I personally have known a lot of people that moved to Canada from the Jamaica area. Uh, one of my grade teachers was Haitian. Uh, it's very normal as a multicultural society that we all come from, from far away. Uh, I just never thought of joining with Haiti uh, or Jamaica or well, let's keep going. But maybe this little story can uh, enlighten me. So I, I don't know. Let's find out. Jamaica is not a part of Canada. Seems obvious, but there have been a couple of points in history where a union between the two has been proposed. Okay. Really? The same is also true for the rest of Britain's former colonies in the Caribbean, where huh. the same idea was put huh. forward in the 1960s. So, there's at least been several times in history where the proposition of uh, Jamaica and Canada being united has been proposed. All before I was born. Thrown out there. Uh, I, I need more details, though. Yeah. So why didn't it happen? Why isn't Jamaica or any of these countries a part of Canada? Yeah. So in the 19th century, there were some small-scale discussions on who should be able to join the brand new Canadian Confederation. Okay. Britain was fairly neutral on whether or not its Caribbean territories would be run from London or Ottawa. The oh, so some of this has to do with the United Kingdom having having a lot of influence over that area of that geographic area of Jamaica and the surrounding islands. That fits. And then the relationship between Canada and the United Kingdom. So that fills in a lot of puzzle pieces. Okay, okay, okay. Britain was fairly Got neutral it. on whether or not its Caribbean territories would be run from London or Ottawa. This was because a colony of a colony is still really a colony, and also Britain's attention was much more focused on India because money. This discussion okay. was mostly academic, though, until after the First World War. At this point, Britain was struggling huh. with being broke. As such, Britain... So, there was a point in time where Great Britain was just like, ah, I don't care, just... Uh, Canada can have Jamaica, or will have Jamaica, or wh whatever is easiest. We j I just want to make money. I just want to make money, money in India. Can you? Can we stop talking about this? That's 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 exactly how it happened, right? British Prime Minister David Strange. George wanted to consolidate the governments of some colonies to make things cheaper. And okay. one such proposal was that Canada, which was much less bankrupt, would run the empire's Caribbean colonies. But Canada's okay. Prime Minister Robert Borden declined, not because he didn't want the islands. He definitely did, mostly as compensation for all of the world warring that Canada had been doing. He reluctantly declined, okay. though, because the Canadian people opposed it. Oh, I was going to say, this is a pretty historic moment. This was the first opportunity for a Canadian Prime Minister to just say, yeah, well, we'll take it. We'll take it. Did Jamaica not have a say in this? That's kind of mean. No, as a 
colony that was filled with non-white people, uh, unfortunately back then they did not have a say, no. Uh, and it's, it's, uh, it's fair that Sir Robert Borden did not take Jamaica. Uh, it's just, a, you know, that'd be really cool if my passport would let free travel between Jamaica and Ontario, like if Jamaica was a province of Canada, that would just be cool. Um, probably would have changed a lot of the marijuana laws over time. Uh, let's keep going. That, I mean, especially considering now that Jamaica is like a sovereign country in control of itself. As it should be. Uh, that... They were just at the whim of whatever the UK and Canada wanted, but Canada and its people uh, vehemently, if that's how you say it, <laughs> pass vehemently, passionately uh, declined. So uh, I wonder why. I wonder if there is a, a reason. Many of whom, including the opposition, saw empire as the reason why Canada had been dragged into the conflict in the first place. And as such, Jamaica remained under the control of London. During okay. World War II, Britain's relationship with its Caribbean colonies became strained. And as a result, <laughs> Canada filled the void and relations between the two improved. Oh, okay. yeah, I wonder what they meant by strained. Did Jamaica and uh, the surrounding territories have like a, a military conflict with the UK during this time? And Canada comes and they're like, it's okay, friend. We, uh, we don't want to be part of the UK either. <laughs> and they bonded. The British government could see that its empire was unraveling, and so it opted to begin the process of preparing the Caribbean for independence. It ah. did this with the least effort possible in what's known as boilerplate independence. Okay. This is where Britain used a one-size-fits-all approach to decolonization. Britain didn't want to repeat this process ten times. And so oh. it just merged all of its Caribbean colonies together to form the West Indies Federation. Man, that's a very, like, <laughs> that's a very me, that's like a me thing to do. Like, <laughs> the, the lazy way? How can you take the lazy way out of uh, uh, decolonizing? Copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. All these territories into making them independent of your uh, nation. <laughs> just like rubber stamping. The independent. Yeah. Independent stamp, independent, independent. Okay, I don't. Can we? We don't want to do any more work today. Gosh. Yeah, that's the old style of copy paste, and uh, makes sense. Uh, most efficient way is often the lazy way. During this process, it was discussed whether or not they would become independent or simply join Canada as a single province. Some oh. of the islands were pro Canada, and others, notably Jamaica, were pro independence. Oh, some of them wanted to join Canada. Jamaica didn't which uh, I don't blame anybody for wanting to become an uh, independent nation. Um, that's usually a pretty cool thing to do. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'm biased because I'm America, <laughs> because I'm an American, uh, and I think, it's I think it's real cool to, to try to fight for your independence. I don't know why. Maybe it's just part of my bias. Uh, yeah, the maybe. fighting. <laughs> but uh, seriously, interesting that some of them wanted to become part of Canada, Jamaica did not, so that's kind of probably how we got to where we are today. The leaders of the Federation couldn't agree on basically anything, and so it fractured in 1962, and one by one okay. each part became independent. And so yeah. after their freedom, surely there was no desire for any of these countries to join Canada, right? Well, there were right. two. The ah. first was British Honduras, whose interest was much more about Britain doing a terrible job at preparing it for independence than any real desire to join another nation. Okay. Honduras and its neighbour Guatemala had many disagreements on borders, access to the sea, and trade. And Britain didn't care enough to fix any of these problems. Which is why some <laughs> politicians care. in Honduras pushed to join Canada. Yeah, so we would have helped. So not only did Jamaica have an opportunity to uh, possibly have joined Canada, but Honduras and others? I... I had no idea. Well, Jamaica, Honduras, Guatemala, anyone else, if you want to join Canada at this point, you know, um, send me a letter, uh, write me an email, nerdpopeking at gmail.com. About any of this. Um, it's, it's honestly, history is fascinating. It really is. And how the course of history could have been so radically different. We could have just had random, randomly parts of Canada down south of america that'd be really cool that would have been interesting 
This never went anywhere, and British Honduras gained full independence as Belize in 1981. Okay. Oh, Belize is beautiful. Okay, I I would love to be part of Belize. Yeah. Okay. Second was the Turks and Caicos Islands here. The people who lived there wanted much better access to other markets and countries for themselves and for their goods. Ah. But Britain was in a no foreigners please kind of mood, and so politicians there discussed the idea of joining Canada. This proposed. So a lot of the rationale for these uh, nations at the time was we don't have a lot of trade power, economic power and influence in this world. So can we just join Canada and, and uh, be a part of that? They seem cool. Yeah, as Canadians, we have a lot of trade uh, coming from other parts of the world. Uh, I'm, I'm cool with that. You know, I'd, I'd love to share. Uh, we want to be cool. We want to be a part of that and reap a lot of the benefits that would go along with just becoming part of Canada. So yeah. that makes a lot of sense. Uh, Canadian citizens would love that too. Uh, <laughs> uh, people that grew up on islands could move to prairies and be blown away by the lack of water. People who grew up in the pr prairies could move to islands and be blown away by the water. And that would be awesome. Very interesting. Those will gain steam until the 1980s when some prominent Canadian politicians backed the idea and official talks between the two took place. Oh, Most wow. of the islanders backed joining Canada, but the Canadian people were very focused on another divisive issue at home a free trade agreement with the United States. So the. Uh, and so we come to the crux of it Americans ruining our fun once again. <laughs> this got pretty serious. Uh, at one point. This is this is the instance that was probably the actual the closest to actually happening. This debate raged for years and was so important to Canadians that nobody had any desire to discuss grabbing a few Caribbean islands and what that would entail. Right. And given that this debate took about a decade to settle down, the idea of annexing a Caribbean island just sort of faded. Mm. So, oh, oh, that's sad. Like, the, the Caribbean islands wanted to become part of Canada, but Canada was like, I'm too busy, man. Well, can we talk about this later? Hey, we should all write to our members of parliament and be like, hey, where are we on that? And then 10 years pass. <laughs> and you just never talk about it. And it just never happens. But that's how things go sometimes, huh? Leaving Canada without a Hawaii of its own. I hope you enjoyed this episode and a special... I did enjoy that. Me um, too. History matters. I like that. I give it you does. A look. Oh, look. Dragon Ball Super is coming to Fortnite. <laughs> of oh course my. that pops up right now. Anyway, I uh, I really, really enjoyed this video. That was cool. Um, I had no idea that this was a thing. Do Canadians know <laughs> this is a thing? You know, I bet there's a bunch of them that do, like maybe uh, Peter uh, <laughs> and all the historians that might be watching. Yeah, uh, This almost seems like... Did this could this kind of random thing also could it have exist for America? Could there be places out there that could have been part of America that? Well, um, yes, but I don't think that they would have liked how it ended up. Um, looking at uh, places that are part of America, I don't know about. That's how I feel right now. If I'm I'm trying to relate to this. Uh, that Jamaica just could have been part of Canada and other Caribbean islands could have been part of Canada all kind of because they were still figuring out how they were going to do things if they could become independent or not history is much more interesting than I ever imagined man wish I had uh, stayed awake a little longer in the old history class but then again they never told me cool facts like uh, the internet does, like they just can't compete. <laughs> and you know, that's fair because we've got a limited amount of time and curriculums keep getting smaller and smaller as we need to memorize just specific important things. There's a lot that we just aren't taught as Canadians, as Americans, as the youth of the world. <laughs> anyway. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed or this, this reaction, feel free this to one? give it a like yeah. or leave a comment. Go ahead, and if type you're it out. interested in more content like this, or like this, or like of that, me whatever. reacting to Canadian you know, type uh, that down. culture, Canadian cool Just stuff, me reacting to him. places, news, uh, go ahead <laughs> and the news. subscribe for more. Oh, yeah. And until then, 
thanks for watching and <laughs> see you next time what's going on yes thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this i definitely did i learned something you might have learned something and uh hey if you want to help me learn more go ahead write it in the comments that's all i've got to say and i hope y'all just keep being awesome <laughs> bye science spirit life